Okay, friends. I'm here working on my Tunisian stitch. Welcome, welcome. Let me get myself situated here. There we go. Okay, this is crazy because this looks blue, but it's actually like a heathered purple color. Okay, let me get my yarn all twisted up here. go there we go there we go welcome 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 my friends let me turn down this volume here Welcome, welcome, friends. I am here working on my Tunisian afghan. Welcome, welcome. I'm working on this Tunisian stitch. I am making a an afghan, and this one will probably be used just by my family. Yeah, so. gonna look up another stitch to do let me try that let's see what other variety I can get here for this Tunisian stitch and I think so usually I'll look at YouTube to see my options so let's see oh Bella Coco she's good welcome welcome Welcome, welcome. How to change colors. Three stitches for beginners. There we go. <clears throat> then I will turn on the closed captioning. First, we're going to have a commercial. Welcome, welcome, guys. I'm going to be working on this Tunisian crochet afghan. I'm just trying to look up a different stitch so we can have a little variety because I've got a long um, section with um, just a straight simple stitch. She's talking about the supplies you need. This one actually is not Bella Coco. So let me see if I can find Bella Coco. The knit 
stitch. Hmm. Let me try that maybe. And this one is TL Yarn Crafts. Hey, Debbie, how's it going? How's your crafting coming along? Are you still on the diamond veining? I'm looking for another stitch for this Tunisian because I want to add like something a little different. So I see that there is something called the knit stitch. So, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. Oh my goodness. Hey, sign in, sign out. How are you doing? Kimri, is that correct? I'm trying to look at this um, Tunisian so I can do a different stitch. I'm working on this blanket. I'm just going to be using it for my family because I started with a bunch of different um, a bunch of different stitches in the beginning. Yeah, Tunisian is my favorite. So I'm looking at this one tutorial that's talking about a knit stitch. So I'm going to see if I can figure that out. And she's just starting with a cast on. So she has all her uh, stitches on the hook. And then I just have to see what does she do next. It looks like the same, like yarn over, pull through too. It's already looking too complicated. Oh, cool. Oh, that's cool, Debbie. That's awesome. Hey, Caitlin, how's it going? You know what, guys? I'm not going to I'm not going to try to learn a new stitch right now. I am going to just chill and do the stitch I know how to do. It doesn't matter anyways cuz it's just going to be for my family. Thank you so much for popping in. Debbie, I hope you're Having a great time with your diamond painting. That's awesome. I've been uh, working on Twitch and, and TikTok actually. So I'm trying to just get the content out there. Um, I'm waiting for... Oh no! How did you break the computer? Oh my gosh, I hope he's at work. Oh no, it's kind of late over there now. Oh, how was the Disney Museum? Okay, good, Debbie. Yeah, I saw your post with your, um, I think it was a, oh my gosh, I don't know the name of the stitch, but it looked like, um, like not chevron, but you know what I mean, like a zigzag pattern on the result. That looked really nice. One day I'm going to get brave and try that um, as well. Yeah, so I'm trying to split my time between... Oh, okay, he's aware. Oh, no. Well, hopefully you have a little bit of a tech background so you're able to fix it. <clears throat> but I used to be afraid of corner to corner and I mastered that, so... And then I still need to finish the cuffs on my hexagon cardigan, so... That's, that's going to be fun. I enjoyed making that. Oh, okay. The crochet crowd. Okay. Awesome. Thank you, Debbie, for sharing because I'm, I'm feeling more motivated to actually use my yarn stash. So I don't make blankets as like a commission because the price point and the time for, um, making like an actual custom like commission blanket it's going to be too expensive but from my stash i don't mind if i just make the blanket and then sell it or give it as a gift so then i wouldn't feel compelled to um have a higher price you know pricing out the time and the cost of the material because i feel like i'm going to be on here anyway hanging out 
So it's kind of helping me to have a project to work on. So yeah, free pattern and um, <clears throat> different options for projects is amazing. And then gradually I'm going to try to improve my streaming setup as far as like cameras or whatever. Oh, nice, Debbie. That's cool. Oh, Caitlin, no. Do you not have it on a um, surge protector power strip? Or does that not have anything to do with it that can, do with it that can still happen with a power strip? I have this power strip that <clears throat> it's more like a power cluster. Like I'm waiting for the power to go out just from the energy that I'm pulling for work and then my streaming setup station. <clears throat> oh, so if you, oh, okay, I see. You're trying to get out of the recovery mode. Gotcha. Oof, I've been doing terrible on drinking water today. I feel a headache coming on. I need to uh, refill my water and get that taken care of. So this is just a simple stitch, Tunisian. I'm using this Tunisian crochet hook. They have these available on Amazon. So depending on the type of project that you're working on, you can use a regular um, crochet hook um, that is like just a little bit longer, like six or eight, or eight, 10 or 12 inches, I think they have them. And then if you're making a larger project like I'm working on right here, then you're going to use something like this, which has a cord or tubing actually, and then it has a stopper, just a wooden bead at the end. And um, when I do the return stitch and take the stitches off of this hook, I can show you what the other part of the hook looks like, but this piece is just bamboo. Um, like a regular crochet hook and these come in sizes as well so that you can get a Tunisian crochet hook in the same size as your pattern calls for. So thanks for being here guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. I did have a great group with me this morning while I was streaming. Um, there was like 10, 11 people so I'm hoping that's going to boost my average and then we can get to affiliate. What that means in the grand scheme and the big picture, like immediately today, tomorrow, next week. It doesn't really mean much, but it's just one more step closer into like just monetizing and having the option of people donating, stuff like that. Um, because this is all enveloped into my business. So I have a business of the same name. I have a website. I do TikTok, Twitch. I do have YouTube as well. So um, I would need to um, just kind of uh, plan my downloads to YouTube so that it's not violating the terms of service for Twitch because um, once you're an affiliate, then uh, Caitlin was kind enough to let me know some of the terms of service that you can't um, simultaneously stream to another platform. And then um, I read the terms of service and it basically also says that you can't um, share the content with another platform for at least 24 hours. So I would need to, um, kind of schedule for myself 
that I wouldn't upload anything to YouTube until the 24 hour mark, which right now isn't a problem because I've been a little bit behind in keeping up with that. But it's a balance, it's all coming together. Okay, so now we're gonna do the return stitch. Now this yarn is very fibrous. Um, like, can you see this? Yeah, you can. It looks like a hair, but that's actually part of the yarn. And this yarn, I actually don't know what it's called. Excuse me, because the label fell off. Um, but it is a Karen cake yarn and it is 80% acrylic, 20% wool. So I'm kind of toying with the ideas of buying some specialty yarn, but I'm going to wait on that because I'm going to become unemployed March 17th. So I need to just kind of see what's going on and, um, you know, I have plenty of stash of yarn. So if I can manage to make and sell items, then I can kind of build that buffer for um, investing back into yarn, but definitely not short. I can um, make do with my stash. And it's a good inspiration to use up the stash. So this blanket, I think, is probably going to end up being kind of a work in progress until next winter. It's going to be approximately the width of a twin size, and I am using um, a few cakes that are half used and then some new cakes. So once I get to the appropriate length, then I'll just be done with it, even if I have the rest of the cakes left over um, but you can see this is a Tunisian and then um, oh let me show you the hook so this is the hook and you can see it has the marking for the size on there and I'm left-handed so it's upside down and the tubing is connected right on the end so far I haven't had any problems with any of them falling off if they did start falling off, I probably would just buy new ones because they're really inexpensive on Amazon. And then realistically, even if the tubing is gone, I could still use the crochet hook. So I wouldn't throw away the crochet hook, just the tubing. And I probably would find something to do with the tubing too. Okay, what is going on? It's not sliding up. Yeah, so. I need to adjust my volume thing. It looks like it's picking up my husband's television. Can you still, okay, let me adjust it now. Can you still hear me? Can you just do a thumbs up or something? Because I don't want to pick up the other television. And it violates a POS. And so I'm just working on this Tunisian. I'm doing this Afghan blanket. Okay, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go grab some water, actually. So I will leave this here. You can see the different stitches that I've used. And then let me put my little... Be right back. All right, hold please. Thank you guys.
All right, I got another one. Pick out my water. Thank you, guys. I just need to find a space for it, I think. Oh, cool. Thanks for hanging out with me. Feel free to drop some emojis in the chat. I know sometimes people just like to hang out and watch, and that's fine too. It helps my algorithm if you engage in the chat. So Caitlin, what are your next steps with trying to fix the computer? I'm sure you've already Googled and checked YouTube for all the tips. I have a super, super old laptop, which of course looks different than a gaming computer, but um, I am always convinced that it's gonna just poop out at any minute. I do have an external hard drive that I try to download everything to, so that kind of gives me a little peace of mind. Oh, yay. I can, oh my gosh, three hours. Oh man. That's the thing. So, um, the, the hardest part for me sometimes is just the patience, the patience to stop, think, breathe, focus. And then inevitably, if I manage to do that, then I realize that whatever the thing was, it, was something for me to just calm down and do it simply and not try to rush. Well, hopefully you can get the encryption fixed or disable the encryption. That's interesting. That's one piece that I don't know about the gaming computers and encryption and all that. This thing is driving me nuts. So the tube now is tapping on the cable. And I have like Sensophonia. So sometimes when there's sounds that are repeating, it drives me nuts. Like literally on my last nerve. I used to work with this guy that would, um, he would have his earbuds in. So I don't think he realized it. And I don't know if other people even know, but sometimes when you have your earbuds in, you don't realize and you're chewing really loud, <laughs> which sounds ridiculous. Like, why be so picky? I, I mean, how are you supposed to chew, right? And here I would be getting upset because he would be chewing loud. Well, he was eating chips and so it would really like crunch. Oh my gosh. Be like, uh, excuse me, dude. Can you please not chew like that? I really don't think it was a matter of manners because if he didn't have the earbuds in, you know, like if we're having a potluck or something, he wouldn't eat like that. So, Caitlin, are you going to be the hero because you fix it or just kind of save your butt because you're the one that broke it and now you fixed it? <laughs> and then can you plug it into a power strip? Will that help? Like I said, I don't know anything about that. I just know that we try to plug ours into a power strip with a surge protector thing, but... I don't know that that actually would help, you know? They advertise that it will, but some, sometimes in real life, the things that work aren't the same things that work on TV or the commercials. So I'm using my little spindle here and that's working pretty good, I like it.
So do you guys know of any um, streamers that are authors? Because I'm interested in trying to put together a bunch of short stories. And I thought maybe if there's a streamer that is an author or like can give tips on writing books. I don't know. Is that something people stream? Maybe not. I somehow think that there needs to be a stream about everything just for my own personal benefit. <laughs> so if you're new here, make sure you go ahead and give me a follow. My name is Mary and I am the owner and creator behind Modern Day Mercantile. And I chose the name Mercantile because it reminds me of the Old West stores where they would carry everything. And because when I was setting up my shop, I wasn't 100% sure what exactly I wanted to do. I knew I had a few items that I could start with as far as, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, like media. So I would sew and also use machine embroidery to create items. But the word mercantile, I think, allows for expansion to include more items that I make. Um, because, you know, you shouldn't limit yourself always uh, learn and find new things to stimulate your brain. So I figured if I had mercantile, modern day being because it's on the internet, then I can include my crocheted items, my items created with my sewing machine, and items created with my embroidery machine. So there is the story of how it got the name. So um, yeah, if you're new here, go ahead and give me a follow. That way you know when I go live. I have been trying to establish a regular schedule, but there's been a few hiccups here and there and just life getting in the way. So I've had to reschedule or cancel some lives. And I know it's best to have a standard schedule, but that just hasn't been able to happen recently. So I'm doing my best to just come on and present to you m um, my craft whenever I have time. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I really appreciate it. What I'm trying to do now is work on my affiliate. And I do have one more achievement towards that accomplishment and that is to increase my average viewer count to three. So I did have a large audience this well large for me audience this morning so I expect my average to go up and each time I stream with more and more people then it's always a plus. And so you guys are here helping me do that today. And the last time I checked, um, and I need, uh, they need to s update the calculations to include this morning's stream, but I was at 2.48 average viewers per stream, and the um, average needs to be three. So sometimes I stream and there's only one person. A couple times I stream there was nobody, and then um, more commonly there is two or three people, so just growing the audience. And um, right now it looks like there's about five viewers. So yeah, you guys are helping me towards my goal. And um, if you're able to engage in, in the chat, then that helps too. There's other goals and accomplishments along the way and even beyond the achievement of affiliate then I can um, start gaining more achievements towards the other uh, levels and accomplishments. Alright, let's 
and here we are back at the end so now we're just going back and forth back and forth <laughs> Something's popping up in Streamlabs telling me to grab my free link in bio, but I think I already have a link in bio in my Twitch. I guess that's something I'll research when I get offline. Oh, so um, I'm also participating in this TikTok trivia live. Honestly, I have no clue. It, I just remembered about it today, and I think it started yesterday. And um, I have no idea. It says it's finished for yesterday, but I don't know if you need to be on live and do it during a certain time or what the deal is. Whoa. can see the blanket coming along. So the Tunisian does curl, it has a tendency to curl at the edge. I don't even worry about it until I'm all done. All, all these changes are automatic because the skein is different colors or the cake is different colors. And um, this cake that I'm working on right now I believe, let me check, I, I tied it on, I think right around here. So then the next color coming up is going to be a darker kind of a teal blue. And then after that, it's going to be a reddish mauve color. Yeah, so we'll see how this comes along. So this hook kind of gets a little tricky. It keeps twisting, so then I end up with the hook part kind of like facing towards the bottom of the project, and that does not work very well. So I'm probably just going to go for a few more minutes, take a little break, get my hydration. I have my water here, but I'll just drink a little more and um, might study that other Tunisian stitch to incorporate it, see if I can learn something new. Something interesting is looking at the display and seeing how the color looks on the display compared to how it looks in person. It really looks like a bluish color on the display, but in person it's more like a purple mauve kind of color. So that's interesting. I must be a, need an adjustment to the color display on my computer, maybe. There we go. Thanks for hanging out with me, you guys.
So one thing that's really cool whenever there's a new person that comes in, if they drop a line in the chat and it's the first time that they've chatted, it will notify me that it's the, their first time. It'll say first time chat and it has a little alert and a outline or box around their chat message. It could be an emoji, it could be just a sentence, just hi. So that's pretty cool. If you're new here and you haven't chatted before, you can drop a chat in there and then I can give you a shout out. Oh, and also um, anybody that's in the live, feel free to share your um, links and stuff. You can just type the address or your screen name or whatever. If you have Instagram or TikTok, um, other people can follow you. And then um, anybody in the chat, if you would like to follow somebody else in the chat, you can tap their name and then it should have an option to follow. Yeah, so that way we can um, grow the community. All right, there we have it. And I'm gonna go ahead and end this live. And then that way I'll have a smaller segment for processing so I can upload it to YouTube um, probably Saturday. It's supposed to be very rainy on Saturday. I have a couple things I need to get done, but I'll be able to finish those uh, without the weather affecting me. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much. If you're new, go ahead and follow me. And then that way, whenever I'm live, you'll be able to see that I am live and you can come on in and say hi. Great to see you guys. Thank you, Caitlin. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you, um, Kimry. I keep trying to remember your name. Sign and sign out, Kimry. Um, and you guys have a great night. And for sure, if you guys go streaming, then I will for sure check in if I am... Um, on my app when you're live. All right. Thanks so much.